SOS Limited. Uh, this is a Chinese company stock that a bunch of us bought a couple of months ago last year when a, uh, a Bitcoin and crypto as a whole with Shiba Inu, with Dogecoin, all of these crypto were literally on fire. And this was one of the cheapest plays when it comes to getting exposed to crypto without putting a lot of money into the markets. And it was very, very cheap at the time and it got even cheaper these days. But for the matter is a bunch of us holding SOS limited as of now are still carrying the bags, meaning you are in the red and deep. Like I'm in the red 80%, 80% on SOS limited. So I want to share with you this in this, in this video, an information that the company shared based on a New York exchange non-compliance letter regarding the ADS trading price. Because when you are trading in a stock market, especially the New York Stock Exchange, you have the obligation to maintain your share price above a dollar. If for six months your trade price shares trade, I mean your share price trades below the dollar level, then you will get a notice. So does this necessarily mean that ASOS Limited is gonna file for bankruptcy or it's gonna be delisted? Because these, these two are different. So forget about bankruptcy. Is this necessarily mean that the company is going to be delisted? No, because they still have six months. And you can share here. You can see here. Once notified, the company must bring its share price and average share price back above a dollar by six months following receipt of notification. The company can regain compliance at any time during six month cure period. If one of the last trading day of any calendar month during the cure period, the company has a closing price of at least a dollar and an average closing share price of at least a dollar of the 30 trading, uh, trading day period ending on the last trading day of the month. So basically, this is just the New York Stock Exchange sending a notification regular notification to the company saying, hey, for the last 30 days, you have been trading below a dollar. And you can see here for the last 30 days, you know, it was from $85 to uh, $67. The last time it was trading above a dollar was when they had, you know, the, 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 the news around the public offering. And uh, yeah, that tanked the share price big. They lost 35% that day only. So, what does it mean for the future of SOS? Well, let's just look at cryptocurrency first because this is a mining company that is actually not only mining um, Bitcoin, but also started mining Ethereum, all right? So if Bitcoin, which is called kind of stable based on the levels where it was back in Friday, given all the expectations on crypto, especially within this high inflation environment in the market, Lots of people, lots of experts are expecting crypto to have a really big year. Bitcoin may be reaching new highs, maybe around 100,000 a coin. Ethereum maybe you know, between 7,000 and 10,000. You know, I don't even want to get into when it comes to these altcoins. But because these two are mainly what SOS mine as a mining company, definitely you have, you know... Um, good expectations when it comes to where the share price can start trading in the next six months because the next six months is going to be towards you know quarter two beginning of quarter three so you, do you need to start panicking now i don't necessarily think so at least that's what i'm doing why because the the stock price is already in the trash i mean i'm already down 80 percent so at this point if i still believe crypto is continuing to go up even if it doesn't happen this year what do i do I double down by averaging down my share price. And when it comes to tax season, like is the case now, well, I write it off. Like this last year, I lost X amount of dollars holding SOS limited stock. That's what I'm going to do, all right? But I am not selling right now where it's already in the toilet. Why? Because it doesn't make sense. So that's what I'm doing. But if you feel as if it is not something you can bear when it comes to your emotions, well, get out and use that as a tax write-off. But personally, I want to kind of see where 
at least the first half or the second half of this year looks like for crypto in general before making a case for what to do with SOS. But as of now, personally, I'm keeping it in my portfolio, but that's just me, all right? So let me know in the comment section what you would do and what you think about this whole notice from the NICE exchange on um, SOS price.